Hi, today I want to show you how you can easily replace your automatic transmission fluid in 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander. This also applies to a different uh, years. I've also done the same thing on 2007. It works exactly the same. Uh, the steps are very easy. First thing, you need to drain, then you need to measure, and then three, you need to refill. A whole process will take you probably half an hour. If you decide to replace your uh, CVT fluid or transmission fluid, make sure that you have the correct one. For 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander, I use CVT J4 fluid. This is the one that I bought at a uh, dealership and I don't want to mix any other brands with uh, whatever I have. And I'm going to do a drain and fill. This is the easiest way. I did it at 40,000 miles. Right now my car has 80,000 miles. So for this job to replace the, uh, the fluid doing uh, drain and fill, I need about four and a half quarts. I already purchased four and the fifth one I have left from the last time. So the transmission on this car is located on the driver's side. This is where you're going, we're going to fill it. And so the plug is located on the bottom, on the driver's, driver's side, right underneath. And it is located right here. This is the plug that we're going to use to drain. Now, the most critical part of the whole operation is when you drain it, you want to put back exactly the same amount. Otherwise, you're going to overfill or underfill the transmission. So I'm going to use empty bottle with the scale on the side to measure how much fluid I drain and I'm gonna put exactly the same amount. Okay, so my plug is located right here. Socket number 19. And I'm gonna loosen it up. And I will remove it, drain it into this uh, aluminum pan. Then I'm gonna pour it back in to the small container with the measurement scale. And then I'm gonna measure everything back, see how much I drained. I'm gonna pour exactly the same amount of fluid back. And boom. So now I have my bottle ready and I just need to pour back the fluid and until this bowl is full. So now I'm pouring the old used oil into the empty bowl to get an exact measurement. I'm doing this up to the line. That's gonna be the first quarter. And first quarter is done. And I'm gonna pour it back into the bigger container so I know that the first quarter is done. I'm gonna use the same container for all, hopefully four, four and a half quarts. So at the end, I drained four quarters and about 250 milliliters extra of the old fluid. As you can see, drain and fill is very easy. Uh, it's not a brain surgery. Everybody can do it. If you can replace your engine oil, you can do a transmission oil too. Uh, so all we need to do now is put exactly the same amount of fluid into the car. So those are brand new CVT Fluid J4 for a Mitsubishi. And I'm gonna pour four quarts and 250 milliliters out of the last bowl. Now the old used oil, I'm going to properly dispose at advanced auto parts. You can just dump it in the back of the store. They have a special container, so don't dump it anywhere outside on the grass. Now, after everything is done, if you want to check the level of your transmission fluid, the proper way to do it is to start a car, uh, shift between the gears, and then uh, put it the car on neutral and then check it on the indicator. Uh, usually it is very hard to do it at the beginning because the, the liquid is gonna be totally clear, but you can definitely try doing this. Make sure that you are uh, on neutral and then your parking brake is on and make sure that your car is on flat surface. This is how you replace aromatic transmission fluid on 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.